It's official guys, the time has come for us to go to Walt Disney World for the next two weeks. Like, honestly, the excitement is real. If you are here and seeing my face for the first time, a big hello from me. My name is Sam and I post lots of Disney, theatre, travel and lifestyle content. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure you're hitting the subscribe button because honestly, I'd love you to come and join me on this journey. We're just outside Heathrow Terminal 3. We've got the Elizabeth flying over here today, so that was nice and easy. We're outside Terminal 3, we're flying Virgin Atlantic today. So we're gonna go inside and check in, but I honestly can't wait. Let's go and head in. We are in the terminal. Now I have to say, yesterday we had a bit of drama because when we done the online check-in 24 hours before, it ended up turning out that I wasn't able to check in because I had to have like additional security check or something like that. So that's never happened to me before. So um, I'm gonna see what that's all to do with um, and see what we have to do. But we're gonna go and check in at the airport now, which hopefully that works nicely and we can just go and do that. But we're just at the check-in desk now. I'm gonna ask Virgin what we need to do, but we'll see. And here we are in the first line of many of this trip. So we are all checked in. It actually was really, really easy. We just spoke to the person who works for Virgin and they managed to check us in nice and easily. Uh, but I did notice that on my ticket, it has the SSSS, which means that I need additional security screening when I go through um, to the, the boarding gate. So that has to happen. Never had it before, so I'll let you know like what that's like. But um, yeah, got the SSSS, the dreaded SSSS, as they say. We're just about to go through security now. Right, so we're through security. And I have to say, that was an absolute breeze. Like we got through in literally like 10 minutes. Although every time I get searched, I had like a proper search done again. So it just doesn't make sense why that happens to me all the time. Like I feel like targeted against. But we're now in World Duty Free, which I absolutely love. So let's go and spend some money. I love looking through World Duty Free. So we're gonna go and just have a little browse. There's nothing really in particular that I need to get in here, but I just always love just having a little look and just seeing what Duty Free has to offer. So have watched me for quite a while know that this is my like fragrance of choice absolutely love sauvage although i am looking for something different now like, i feel like i've overdone this it always gets so many compliments but i feel like i'm ready to change problem is i don't actually know what other fragrance i'd get like i absolutely have well i've worn that for at least like four or five years now so it's a big change to get something different so any other like fragrances that you suggest that smell good on men let me know down in the comments below but um i've loved sauvage for absolutely years so many people love one million i wasn't too much of a fan of it when i smelled it for the first time but it's 70 pounds in duty free i actually don't think duty free is that cheap anymore like, i feel like it used to be you see quite a good deal but yeah 70 pound for million but everyone seems to love that so yeah it's been a long time since i last tried this one so let's see what it's like i'm just not a fan like i've just never really got it no, it's not for me. Thing that I always did love was Invictus. This is like my like teenage smell. This always smelled so incredible. The best, honestly. I love it. I could literally, I, I would go back to wearing that. It's like the best smell. I feel like it was stronger though before, but I still love it. Ocean, and you just put on this milk on your arm. Oh, I like that. That is really good. I do like that nice. one. I feel like I've had that one before. That's such a good one. And those of you that watch my Vegas vlog will know that I'm still looking for a watch. Still haven't managed to buy one yet. I feel like it's going to be like a big investment for me. But I definitely want one that's like stylish, that feels grown up. Like one with like a metal strap. Um, but I'm not going to get it at the airport because I, I know my wrist is just too small. Like genuinely, my wrist is too small and it would need like adjusting. In the chocolate section now, and I feel like this is like the most controversial thing ever. But I could eat a whole bag of these mini bounties. Like bounty is so underrated. Like people say they don't like bounty. I don't trust you. Like honestly, <laughs> I feel like that's most people. But honestly, I love bounty so much. Like, I feel like I'm the one who eats them. Like when it's at Christmas and nobody's eating the bounties, I just love them so much. But yeah, they're chocolate for these like sharing bags. They're 11 pound 50. So they're expensive. They are really, really pricey, but they do a mix and match. Like save seven pound one. That's really weird when you buy two. So not too bad, but um, yeah, they've got bounties 
Twix and Mars. Out of all, out of all of them, Twix and Bounty. Love them. Not a huge fan of Mars. This Kinder Surprise egg could be the cutest thing that I have ever ever seen. I absolutely love him. But look at that. He's. £20.50. He is adorable. I want him. I was just chatting with my mum and we said that we actually think the chocolate prices have actually gone down in duty free. I feel like they went through a stage where it was like extortionate but um, they have definitely gone down. Whether it's actually worth it still I don't know. Like, I don't think I'd actually buy chocolate in duty free now like at all um, just because I feel like it's so expensive. Aperol has literally become one of my all time favourites. Absolutely love this. When I was in Rome my blood content was pretty much full of Aperol. Like it was so much. I honestly love it so much though. We end up um, having this for our bar in our garden and I actually love here as well they've got an Aperol Spritz kit Mum is fully Animal Kingdom vibes today for leopard print she found some are they leopard print sunglasses as well <laughs> stepping into Harrods now although they're still missing the Harrods bear like it's still not here I used to love having a picture with the Harrods bear every time but here we are in Harrods some nice little like luggage here in the blue as well that's really nice yeah, when we're just saying about how lovely these are these are like Harrods Christmas decorations there's so much nice ones in here absolutely stunning and they are 30 pound for them which I think is absolutely a bargain like absolutely love them but these Harrods cocoa dusted almonds these always look so amazing like if you look inside absolutely beautiful every time I come here I always look at them and I'm like I need to get them never do um because they're just like, too expensive but Looks so good, the Harrods chocolate. They have this whole like James Bond 007 brand. It has all the different films. These are like chocolates that are wrapped up. All the different like James Bond films wrapped up. Looks so good. It's £38, which to be fair, for the amount of chocolate you're getting in there, I don't think that's awful. But if you're like a James Bond fan, that is a good little gift for somebody. We're now going to head into Boots. We're actually on a bit of a mission in Boots today. So I made a bit of a schoolboy error and basically what happened was I have been using an Oral-B electric toothbrush for literally the longest time ever, like for at least like five, six years. Um, and I go and replace the heads quite often, but I need to get a new pack of Oral-B heads. And what happened was I ended up getting the wrong size, but had none left. And I only checked the head literally the day before we come here. So um, I need to see if they've got some Oral-B toothbrush heads because at the minute I can't use my electric toothbrush and to me that is like catastrophic like I actually need to be able to use my electric toothbrush I brought a manual one with me just in case I don't have it but um, I'm not gonna lie I'm feeling a bit panicky right now like I have brushed my teeth with electric toothbrush for five years and even this morning brushing my teeth with a manual toothbrush I just didn't like it I feel like I'm completely untrained with how to brush my teeth with a manual toothbrush so Please boots, please just have what I need. It's like the one thing I need today. <laughs> I feel like it would be in this section, like they've got toothpaste, they've got like toothbrushes. I don't think they have what I need. I genuinely don't think they have what I need. Uh, what am I gonna do? My mum just called my name, so I'm hoping, I'm praying, please. Oh, they didn't have it. Absolutely gutted, like I don't even know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I need like a special one because it's like, it has to say I O on it um, and none of them do. So I don't want to risk like spending out another £20 for something that doesn't even have what I need and it's not going to work. Like I've already wasted money on it, but it's so frustrating. So I'm manual toothbrushing. Not ideal, not ideal at all. We're just gonna go and have a little look at the bookshop by W. H. Smith. I feel like recently, I've really wanted to like, really start getting into books and I tried reading Fourth Wing, loved it, and then I just stopped reading it and I've still got like half a book left to read. Um, but I do love books and I really wanna get back into it again properly. I know that this book here, it ends with us. Everybody is talking about this at the moment. It's actually been turned into a film. Oh, yeah, it's in cinema now. Um, but yeah, everyone's sort of like, 
going crazy about this book and it's meant to be amazing i feel like being in florida it's not really a holiday to get a book and do reading but it's meant to be amazing one of my favorite films of all time the wolf of wall street absolutely hilarious i love it didn't even realize it was a book but i absolutely love books like these these kind of like thrillery kind of books like murder thriller i just feel like these ones keep me on the edge of my seat or some bed if i'm on holiday like these are always so gripping i could get through so many of these kind of books and they actually have a whole beatles range here Absolutely love that. So cute. So British as well. I found this Mickey head ring light, which is so cute. I absolutely love that. It's £19.97, which isn't awful at all. But yeah, for a ring light, a Disney one, I've never even seen that before, but that is cute. I love it. Okay, so we've come to this restaurant called Spuntino, and I'm very excited. We've been here before. I remember getting the like waffle, waffle and chicken, which was so good when I had this last time. So I'm actually going to go and do that again. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what the menu's like in case you haven't watched my previous vlogs. Um, but I feel like in Terminal 3, there's not a great selection of food places. It's actually really small considering Heathrow is like the biggest airport in the country. It's quite shocking how limited restaurants there are here. So um, this here, I feel like, is always a good meal, and it actually says that the food should come in six minutes i believe me i'll be timing them as well to see if they can beat it for six minutes what i love is that they do an all-day breakfast which i feel like at the airport is always breakfast time like i don't know what it is i just feel like every time you come to the airport you just have to have a breakfast option so i've gone for the chicken and waffle which is 18 pound this was so good last time so i just had to get it again but they also do like other classics they've got mac and cheese which i feel like i'm gonna have so much mac and cheese when i'm in disney world so um, that's why i didn't get that so, uh, spaghetti and meatballs fish and chips um, i remember seeing somebody here get the sourdough pizza and it looked amazing so that also looks really good and lots of different burgers, baps and hot dogs. And then when it comes to the drink menu, you have like bottled beers, ciders, uh, milkshakes, which I actually got a strawberry milkshake. So we'll test out what their milkshake's like um, and some soft drinks. So it's actually a really, really good menu. But yeah, he's just gone and taken our order. So I'm going to go and start it, see if he can do it in six minutes. So here we go. Let's go and test it out. Food has arrived. So here's the chicken and waffle. So we've got the chicken waffle. It comes with an egg and it's got like honey drizzled over it honestly this is so delicious like i can tell i've not even started eating it yet but i just know this is going to be great and then i've also got this strawberry milkshake which feels really cold actually mine feels really cold but yeah strawberry milkshake which to be fair wasn't too bad of a price considering it is i think a little tiny bit more expensive than like getting a soft drink of like coke or something so not too bad for a milkshake at all but it looks amazing bon appetit and um by the time that they come to us it took six minutes and one second so literally that was spot on six minutes and one second honestly amazing so let's go and give this a taste test and honestly this is like the smallest knife ever a bit tiny yeah it's so small but let's go and try it i'm gonna try some waffle some honey and some chicken mm. Mm. Honestly, that is incredible. Like, it's spicy as well. I just love it. Like, with the egg as well, everything just, like, works. I feel like every time it comes here for a Terminal 3, this is the meal I have to get. 10 out of 10. Perfect. Do you like the milkshake? Yeah, it's nice. Right, I'm going to test mine out. I've not tried it yet. I think it's quite icy. It's a lot thinner than I thought. I think it's a less quick milkshake. Maybe with a little bit of ice cream. Maybe. It's nice enough. Probably not worth five pounds. Like I reckon that I think it is a less quick milkshake, but it's all right. It's very, very strange because the glass feels really, really cold, but it's not actually that cold. It's a bit strange. But decent enough. Right, the food was actually pretty decent in there, although it was quite pricey. It ended up costing us 95, 95 pounds for one course meals. Like, it's very, very expensive for what it is, but it is in the airport, I guess. Um, but our flight actually is a bit later than our normal flight that we'd get to Orlando. Normally, we kind of get a like, 12 o'clock flight. Our flight isn't until 3.15 today, so, um, yeah, it feels a little bit weird. I do like getting there earlier normally, um, but I think with us getting there later, it's meant that we haven't had to stay in the Premier in the night before or anything like that so you know it's we've had a kind of like a chill morning like we woke up at like a decent time but made our way here um it doesn't feel like mega early so yeah we're gonna be getting to Orlando a little bit later but um we've had a nice chill morning and I can't like really complain about that but yeah our flight's at 3 15 so for now we're just kind of like sitting down in the departure lounge just like waiting for 
the flight or a bit more information. Um, obviously, I don't really know what to expect with this SSS thing. SSS. Where it is, but yeah, not sure what to expect. So I'll keep you updated. Um, I feel like that's where we're going to be when we get to the departure gate part. But for now, we're just going to chill. Here we are we're on the screen, Orlando 315. We go to gate 31. So we're going to start heading it down there. It's time. Ah. I feel like I can almost already guarantee that gate 31 is going to be like the furthest down you can possibly go. It always happens, like no matter what flight we're on, always the furthest gate. But um, I don't mind the walk because you get the flat escalators, which is like my favourite thing ever. Here's our plane. We're flying on Lady Emmeline. It's really cute. Here we are. This is our row, row 80. Have a lovely little window seat. So this is what the economy seats are like. Yeah, I feel like this is definitely a more modern plane because the screen is really big compared to normal. Really nice. And this is our little view from the window. Absolutely love it. Great view. So yeah, I'm sitting with Jack in the economy seats. And I have to say, they are really comfortable. We have a little headrest as well, which is really nice. Um, but you get some things included, so. So you always get these like headphones for the films. You get a pillow and you also get a blanket, which is nice. This here is the Vera Guide, which has all of the entertainment. Um, and these are the movies that they've got. To be fair, I've looked through. None of them really tickle my fancy that much, really. Um, but we'll have a look. When it's actually like the screen's working, normally you can go onto this, but it's not letting us do it at the minute. But um, yeah, your Vera Guide has all your like entertainment and stuff, but nothing is standing out, but that could change. Obviously, I had the like extra security thing at the airport. It only took about like five minutes. They she pulled me to one side um, and all they done was they like dusted my hands and they dusted the bag uh, like my hand luggage bag and then they put it into a scanner and so their film was all right and then let me in so it wasn't anything too like extreme at all and um, this music is really really loud here, so i hope you can hear me but um yeah it was nothing like too extreme um really really easy the flight is saying it's going to be like eight hours 25 minutes i think is that how long? Oh, eight hours and 42 minutes, so not too bad at all. The leg room is also pretty decent too. Like, I know there isn't a lot, but sometimes when I fly with British Airways, I have hardly any leg room whatsoever. Whereas here, this, I've actually got some, which is good. I'm about five foot 11, almost six foot. I always say I'm six foot, but I think I'm actually five foot 11, like and a half, and, but yeah, quite a bit of leg room. We're actually finally moving. We've been delayed for about 25 minutes just sitting here. And everyone like got on the plane really quickly to be fair, but it was just the waiting around. But I've just got a lemon sherbet to suck whilst I'm doing takeoff because my ears always pop and I know it's like normal, but I love having a lemon sherbet. So yeah, hopefully now it won't be too long and we'll be up in the air. But I'm so excited, like this area is actual real, like we are really going into Disney. Like 
about like imaginary friends and that kind of thing, that's what I assume. So I'll let you know what I think. salad thing a bit questionable not sure what's even in that some chickpeas and some lettuce mm, but I'll give it a try um, a bread roll some crackers with some cheese and then a little chocolate pot which this is always so good every time I do this on Virgin so I absolutely love the chocolate pot but overall pretty good meal and also um, I've decided to try this wine I think it's nice or nice not sure but this white wine um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it. So bon appetit, let's eat. Right, I'm gonna go and try the salad first. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this, but you know, we go. love a sweet snack like you'll notice this when I'm at Disney as well like I will always just go and like eat the sweet snacks I just love them so much but this is the chock pot it's um, plant based it's actually vegan as well and look at that pot of yumminess seriously cannot wait look at that right let's give it a try that is honestly heaven in a pot heaven in a pot that is so good it's like the right texture as well like it's not moosey it's it's like a yogurt texture but honestly that is a 10 out of 10 like i want this in my work lunch box going forward that is honestly stunning 
I've downloaded so obviously I had to get Hamilton if you follow me for a while you know that I absolutely love this musical so much so to be able to watch it on the plane that takes two hours and 40 minutes that's like a perfect easy way to spend time on the plane um, Incredibles 2 because I still haven't watched that uh, great show man because that's great Devil Wears Prada I've never seen it but I know it's becoming their musical soon so would love to see that uh, Percy Jackson Haunted Mansion and I've also downloaded the two Deadpool movies because I'd like to watch them as well so that is what I downloaded for the trip going out here but I actually think it's such a great idea having like lots of films to watch in my opinion and try not to sleep on this flight going out to Orlando because where Orlando is five hours behind it means that when you get there you don't want to like shut down like you want to keep going as much as you can on this first day um, we're probably going to try and stay up to probably about 11 o'clock Orlando time which is 4am British time um, that's just the way that it works otherwise your first day at Disney you're going to be so jet lagged and that's not what you want to do so try and stay up as much as you can on this flight don't nap or anything um, I'm somebody who loves a nap but I really really try I'm feeling tired right now to be fair but you know um, I'm trying to keep myself up by just watching as many films as I can I'm trying not to allow this wall as well because that's making me want to go to sleep show you whilst I'm at it as well. You can actually go and join the Virgin Atlantic Wi-Fi whilst you're on board. I'll show you the different options that they've got. This is something that I never do. I don't really see the point of doing it but if you're interested and maybe have emails to send or whatever you can actually go and get the Wi-Fi. See they have a few different options available so you can get online and then when you're online they have three different options that you can pick. So they've got a messaging option which is £2.99. That's just messages, no videos or photos can be sent, literally just like text messages. Wi-Fi Lite, which is one hour's worth of browsing for £6.99 and then the best package or the biggest package is the £20.99 one which is for browsing the entire flight. Not sure how quick the speed is for the Wi-Fi on the flight, like no idea whatsoever. Um, you'd assume for the price it is, it'd be pretty quick, but no idea. But you know, if Wi-Fi tickles your fancy whilst you're like on the flight and it's something you need to do, definitely go and get it. Like you might as well do it as early on in the flight as you can though to make the most of that £20.99 because that is pretty pricey for Wi-Fi. So we have about an hour and a half until we land but our Mile High Tea has arrived and this is so cute. I love this little box that it comes in. But yeah, the Mile High Tea, there's a scone as well and I've decided to go for just a cup of water. Normally I'd go and get a tea but I feel so dried out after this flight so I'm really really thirsty so that's why I decided to get this instead. I feel like tea wasn't going to do it. Be cute inside the box as well but inside you get um, like little fingers of sandwiches. I think one's cream cheese and the other one is another cheese sort of sandwich. I'll give it a try. I'm not really a huge fan of cheese, but I will try it. And then you get um, cream, jam, and then you also get a cocoa berry blush. It's like a sweet or something, like a biscuit. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely really cute having afternoon tea on the plane. Love it. as good as they could what is that but um yeah i love a scone or scone how do you say it and also what do you do first cream or jam i feel like this is the only way that works for me um yeah cream first then jam that's my team Quiz 
Let's have a look. What's science? Oh, I like science. It's the whole blood minus the cells called uh, plasma. Yes. See, check me out. We're landing in literally like 45 minutes now, so it's not too long at all. But I have to say, the service on this flight has been amazing. Like, honestly, amazing. Like, the cabin crew that work for Virgin, we've never had a bad flight with Virgin, but the cabin crew that work for them, honestly, they are such a credit to the company because the way that they just like give us so many drinks, the customer service is always like spot on. Like, I honestly love flying with Virgin, it's always so, so great. And um, they literally work so hard throughout the whole flight. Um, and yeah, it's just been nice and chill, really. Like, I've just like, yeah, although I've not got up once, not got up once, but I've just sat here, yeah, but I've loved just relaxing and chilling. And yeah, but um, I'm so excited now. Like, honestly, in 45 minutes time, it's touchdown in Orlando, and the holiday really, really begins. Like, that is just the best thing ever. So, yeah, cannot wait. It's not long now. Fully buzzing. If you know, you know. The carpet where the magic begins. And here we are, first ride of our trip here in Orlando. The little monorail that goes over to the main terminal. It'd be rude not to do this as a first ride. made it we're actually here in MCO this is by far the most special part of the airport I honestly love being in this part of the airport so much like it gives me so much joy and happiness and I just love being in Orlando and the fact that we are literally here in this part is everything like people work so hard to go to Orlando like I know I do I work so hard to come here and it just has the most special place in my heart and I can't believe that actually we're standing here and like the magic is truly about to begin. Let's talk about matching security. It took a while, it took about 45 minutes which was really really frustrating um, but we got through in the end like it was yeah a lot. It was a lot of people but um, I can't wait. We're actually going to start going looking our way over to the Miz Connect. I think we need to get, we'll get some pictures out here. Yeah, so we're gonna go and get some pictures outside um, this area because I love getting pictures outside this part of the airport, but it's just the best. This is such a cool piece of art on the floor. It's all like NASA space themed, but because um, we're heading over to Mears Connect, we go and head towards ground transportation. So you just follow that sign, um, go into these lifts, and that'll take you down to ground transportation for the Mears Connect. I know quite a lot of you actually like using like hire cars as well, which you can get on your Virgin Holiday packages. Um, but that's also down here in this ground transportation section. This also where you get like your Uber and lifts and everything like that too. But yeah, Mears Connect is right down at the end of this corridor. So it takes a little bit of a while to get there, but it's, it'll be worth it. And I always can rely on Mears Connect. We actually used it last time. And it was such a great service. So yeah, for might as well go and use it again. This bus that we're getting on, the AKZ. Is connect and we're just like waiting in this little area here so yeah hopefully not too long I'll let you know how long it is until we get our bus finally on Mears Connect. I have to say it took quite a while. It was very very hot in there. They didn't like, we didn't go outside and wait. We like waited inside the airport. It took about 20 minutes. Um, but I have to say I absolutely love 
these like cushions that they've got back here and they were actually like the old magical express and it's nice and air conditioned on here though um i've just taken off my spirit jersey because it got so hot but um yeah for the means connect i just asked my mum and it basically cost around 17 18 dollars each so that was the price of it um which to be fair isn't too bad if you're like a family like it's yeah not too bad it, they say that you can get to disney in about they estimate between 30 to 60 minutes so obviously it depends on how many drop-offs that you have i'm not sure how many drop-offs we've got right now but there's quite a lot of people on this coach it's quite busy so i reckon there's gonna be quite a lot of drop-offs i did actually go and also price up an uber but an uber was $45.95 um, obviously for a normal one or an extra extra large was about $80 so it doesn't work out massively different um, when you like add it all up but yeah that's just there if that's what you're interested in. I know there's also a company called Sunshine Fly that do the same thing but yeah not too sure how long hopefully we're just one of the first stops because what I'd love is for us to be able to go to the food court today um, because I'm feeling quite peckish and really really thirsty so hopefully we're there in time it does make such a difference having this later flight but yeah we'll be there soon so I'll show you some clips of the journey over to Walt Disney World where the magic truly begins actually got quite a lot of stops from what I can gather. I think we were stopping over like three or four different hotels before against the old stuff sports. Which yeah I think it's been quite long we've actually I've just stopped now at Terminal C which that's never happened before. Normally we just like go straight there but I think because Terminal C is quite new we need to connect all those stops off here so bear that in mind as well. I'm honestly just so tired and I just want to be there. Like, literally yeah. <coughs> See that McDonald's. All, right, all I can say is that I'm glad that it's over. That took a very, very long time, but we're here now at All Star Sports. And we're here at All Star Sports finally. I absolutely love this artwork, that's so cute. It's actually really not too different at all from All Star Music. Like you've got the like arcade on this side here, and then the food court over here. Actually going inside the food court now. So yeah, we ended up missing the food court. So we can't get any drinks at the minute, which is literally gutting. I am so thirsty and so tired, like literally. But we're staying in block six, which is called the center court, I think. Um, it tells you on the My Disney Experience app before, so you haven't got to go to a reception or anything like that to check in, um, unless you are obviously, you want to change your room or whatever, you're not happy with the one that they've given you. But yeah, we're center court, which um, I'm trying to actually find at the minute. I'm not gonna lie, we're a bit lost, but it does look like a really cute resort actually it's not too different at all from all star music the reason we picked this was because i do want to try the other all star results we've done music twice now so we thought we might as well try sports while we're at it so that's what we've done so cute mickey all star results i love that i genuinely do think we are the furthest possible hotel room ever like five didn't seem that far but we are far but I, this is it ain't it is this one Yep, here we are. Tap that magic band for the first time. Is that the same? Here we go. It's actually more spacious than I thought. Welcome, Green family. We're home. We are actually home, like it feels so good and seeing our name up on the screen, the music, like everything is just like so perfect. Like I honestly love it here so much. We are literally so knackered. So I'm gonna go and do a really, really quick room tour for you of what it's like 
to stay here at All Star Sports. Um, it's just that it feels so overwhelming at the minute. Like I feel like there's so much going on and we got here so much later than we wanted to, but I'll talk more about that in a second. But here's a little room tour for you. And the first thing I actually noticed was we actually have a Hey Disney, which I'm very excited to go and use that at some point. Um, it's actually our first resort we've stayed in with this, so pretty cool. And then we've got obviously two beds, um, like two double beds. This actually goes and pulls down. We actually have these in a lot of Disney resorts. It's just to say space, obviously at the minute it's like a table, but you can actually pull that down. And then on this side, we've got like a dressing table, the TV screen, and then lots and drawers. They actually seem quite spacious as well. The extra pillows and that kind of stuff in there. And then yeah, lots of drawers. And then on this side, we've got an ice bucket. The ice bucket machine is literally like next door to us. So that's pretty ideal. We've also got the coffee machine and I'm assuming they've got normally some Joffreys. Yep, the Joffreys are in here. Got some cups, some tea, which looks amazing. So yeah, that's in here. And I absolutely love all the artwork up here as well with uh, Mickey, Minnie, Donald. I, that's like so cute. Then over here, you've got the phone. And I love as well with Disney, they have USB plug sockets. There's also some hooks as well to go and hook up anything you've got, like any ponchos or anything like that as well. So I noticed here, it says that the housekeeping service is every other day of your stay. So like it shows like day one, day three, day five, day seven, it goes on like that. If you need anything like um, like trash removal or you need additional towels or toilet roll or anything like that, you can contact housekeeping and they'll go and sort it out for you. But yeah, that is what you need to know about housekeeping. It's not every day. This here is the bathroom. I absolutely love this mirror like the lighting in here is so good honestly loving it um, but yeah you've got a single sink in a Disney value resort you always get a single sink whereas like the moderate and deluxe get two sinks um, but you've got towels not as many toiletries as they used to be like all we've got is this soap I feel like we used to get more um, but yeah that's what you've got here some storage and then this is quite small actually, a small like wardrobe, not much space in there at all for two weeks, but you know, we'll make do with that. We've got the drawers as well. And then an ironing board and an iron will be somewhere. Oh yeah, I think the iron is in there. They've hidden that there. And then as always with Disney, you've got a separate toilet room. So you've got the toilet, you've got the shower, and I love how they have the H2O products. These are my absolute favorites. Like I love to buy these for home, but they've got their, their sea salt, sea marine, yeah, the shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. This is absolutely amazing. I honestly love it so much. Um, and yeah, and then there's the shower head, but that's our little room tour of All Star Sports. But yeah, for this bed here, which obviously we're gonna, gonna be needing to use, Literally all you do is put it down. And ta-da, you have your bed. So that is literally how it works. That artwork is so cute as well. I think that is the same artwork that they have at All Star Music. I'm sure it's the same. It's so cute, I love it. I still haven't taken this backpack off either. I need to go and do that, but there we go. We're all ready. He's playing football there and music I think it's the same it's like all the all the results movies sports and music it makes sense yeah movie sports and music I never even realized that before well what can I say it definitely didn't go to plan this evening obviously the Miz Connect just took the longest time ever in hindsight I wish we just went and got an Uber now or something like that it just take a really really long time I really just miss the Magical Express like it we never had a problem with that. Whereas me is today, I feel like the issue was, was for one job, they go to so many different drop-offs. Like we was like the fourth, I think, fourth or fifth. And I feel like that never used to happen. Obviously the plan was originally that we was going to go over and get some food in the food call. And we was going to go and um, like get our refillable mugs and things like that. That didn't happen. So that's kind of frustrating. But, you know, we go on. We've kind of like, unpacked everything so we've got like everything out everything is where it needs to be in the hotel there's not really a lot of space like looking around at first i thought there was quite a lot of storage there's not really but then what happened was i tried to charge my portable charger and i don't know if you can see but the usb has broken inside the wall so that has completely stopped which means that i'm now without a portable charger absolutely crazy so 
Not gonna lie guys, it's been a bit of a crazy evening, like really, really crazy. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that because I can't survive that portable charger. No idea. So I'm actually gonna go and end this vlog here. I feel like I didn't show half as much as I wanted to because I did want to go and show you like All Star Sports and I want to show you the food court and everything, but that just hasn't happened today. And I feel like, you know, that's travel days are sometimes like that. We're all tired all bit aggy so it'll be fine because tomorrow we are going to magic kingdom which i'm very very excited about going to magic kingdom like to be back there um and seeing the castle and seeing happy ever after and all that kind of stuff like it's gonna be great so i can't wait to go and show you my magic kingdom day which i'll be showing you on my next vlog which will be next week but if you made it this far a big big thank you for watching this far i hope you've enjoyed it if you did make sure you're hitting that subscribe button um but yeah we're going to magic kingdom tomorrow so I will see you guys real soon. Bye.